One of the main differences between a cognitive bias and a logical fallacy is that a cognitive bias is often the psychological reason for the logical fallacy. So let me give you an example. There are two logical fallacies that are very similar. One's the gambler's fallacy and the other one is the hot hand fallacy. So imagine that you're at a casino and you walk up to the roulette table and you see the board on the roulette table with all of the numbers that recently came up. Why do you think they have that? Well, many people believe that if a number has come up very often, then it's either hot or a lucky number and they're going to bet on it or some people believe that it might have come up too much so they shouldn't bet on it. This is known as the gambler's fallacy because as we all know that each spin is independent of the spin before. So if there is a streak and many numbers come up often and they come up in a row, then that's just probability. It doesn't mean that the number will or will not come up on the next spin. A similar fallacy, the hot hand fallacy, is if you're, let's say, playing craps at a craps table and you're shooting sevens first all the time and like maybe three times in a row and you're like, yes, I am hot, this is great. You're under the false illusion that this hot hand is going to continue, that somehow you're doing exceptionally well on purpose rather than your hot hand being purely a statistical probability or in many cases, a statistical necessity. So with that brief introduction, we could talk about the cognitive bias known as the illusion of validity. This illusion of validity is the cognitive bias behind these previous mentioned logical fallacies. It's defined as the tendency for one to overestimate his or her ability to interpret and predict accurately the outcome when analyzing a set of data that appears to show a consistent pattern. Sound familiar? As humans, we're natural pattern seekers or natural pattern detectors. The problem is we assume meaning in these patterns, or in this case, we're assuming validity where there simply is none. And of course, as we all know, when we assume we make an ASS, out of oom. Um.